Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a quick look at the Mozilla Firefox 56 that was released uh, this week, uh, a couple of days ago. And uh, basically it is the latest version of Mozilla Firefox, the web browser. Last one before we get something called Firefox Quantum that would be uh, in November. So in November we'll have something called Firefox Quantum. It's going to be interesting to see uh, Microsoft, Microsoft, <laughs> Firefox or Mozilla uh, going into a new direction here. So um, what's new in Firefox, Firefox 56? And one of the reasons why it took two days for me to do a review is because I wanted to test it really well because uh, last time Firefox 55 update was kind of a big problem. Uh, the browser wouldn't work well until they had some updates to it and um, I didn't really find that cool. So Firefox 56 updated without any glitches. It has a couple of new changes to it. For example, you go to a website, you want to uh, cut something. So say I go to my favorite news site here and uh, I want to take um, maybe this part here. Well, there's of course on the upper right corner a screenshot um, that you can actually have. So you click, you adjust whatever you want to see. It's already um, intelligent. So you, s you, you could see here that it already um, selected a specific place for me, which is interesting. Um, it kind of knows in advance a little bit what I want to do depending on what's on the page. If not, you can of course move it around um, as you wish. You can also uh, change the size with the edges here and everything. It's a very, very nice um, screenshot tool. And of course, you can save it to the cloud. You can download it to your PC. When it's downloaded, let's look here, it's right here. I can open the file and basically what it will do is open my picture and here you see it opened with GIMP in my case it could open whatever um, you know photo editing tool you have but here it is and it's available um, for you to do pretty much what you want and it's pretty cool you know I like the fact that you can actually select a very specific place on the page to um, get that that um, snipping tool or that screenshot tool and of course you can take a full screenshot if you want there's a new functionality, which is the ability to send tabs. So when you right click, you have send tab to device. So if you have a device that is compatible, you can send that tab to this, that device. You can also sync it with other devices. And of course, you can learn more about sending tabs by clicking here, sending tabs. And uh, basically, it's going to tell you, you can send them to a mobile device. You can send them to a screen, a big screen. Um, do pretty much a lot of things with it. Nice feature. Um, apart from that, there's uh, better auto filling capabilities. For now, it's US only, but it will come to everybody. Uh, one of the biggest problems it had is with forms that you have to sometimes fill online. It sometimes had issues with that. It sometimes didn't work well. Now, apparently, it is much better and has autofill. So if you have uh, answered a um, an online form of some kind and there's another one and it's pretty similar, you'll have autofill that will actually kick in and say, well, you know, want me to fill these here with what I already know about you. So um, that is apparently much better than it was before. And uh, so, of course, these are some of the major features here. Now, what's next with these um, other things on the browser, basically. They've uh, updated uh, a few things in the preferences in the options menu. Uh, there were a few things that they wanted to you know, work around and um, kind of readjust because there's a lot of things that weren't right. So they've uh, rearranged the preferences a little bit in the uh, menu so that um, users can reuse information with forms on your website and Firefox automatically saves the field data to saved addresses. Of course, apart from that, there are under the hood changes. So for example, there's an updated menu, of course, preference menu, but 
say you have a media working in another tab. So say you've got YouTube on a tab here that you actually want to uh, basically check out a video. And now you go into the YouTube video and it's playing. Well, when the tab is not selected, the video will stop. Uh, if there's music, anything, it's not going to play as long as the tab is not selected. Better hardware acceleration support has been added. There's a better safe browsing protocol. It was updated to version 4, meaning kind of safer to browse the web with this version of Firefox. The update download size has been shrunk 20%, so smaller downloads for updating Firefox. And security for verifying the update downloads has been improved. So, um, you know, if something ever happens, it can actually see that you're not updating Firefox correctly. And so there's a few things also in the layout panel that has been added to CSS grid and uh, dev tools for developers. So pretty, pretty much what we have here. Now, how does it go? Is it fast? Is it good? Well, that's the funny thing. On the main tab, if I go to a web page, works fine. Seems to be extremely fast in bringing pages. Um, really, really nice. There's a big problem that I have, and I don't know about you guys, but if I open a tab and I go to any page from that tab, it just turns and turns and turns and doesn't display the web page. It's not working. I got a glitch here. I don't know about you guys, but that's a glitch I have. And it's a big glitch because I am one of those guys that wants to basically use multiple tabs when working. So it's a big issue and that just that will prevent me from using Firefox uh, just because I can't get tabs to open correctly. Funny thing is if I click a link and go to that tab with the link. So for example, let's once again go here and say I want to read an article here and I want it in another tab. I can right click and say open a new tab. Um, it seems to open. So it's not totally the fact that it just, um, you know, doesn't work. It, it works. It's just that it um, works only when I do that. But if I, and, and let's try something here. Does it work suddenly? And yeah, it works as if I do it like that. But if I just open a tab and go to a web page, it doesn't do anything. It kind of stuck. There's a problem with this. There's a glitch here. So that's what I'm having as an issue. But apart from that, it's a very fast browser. Seems to work well for every other thing that I've been doing. But um, got that glitch. I don't know about you guys. You might maybe want to try it and see if you have that problem also. Um, if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. And if you use Firefox, if you updated, why not share your opinion and your comments on it? Thank you for watching.